Hello everyone. The last version of Pure Sky Pro is out, and in this video, I will show you how to install and how to use this version. The version is ready for Blender 4.4 or 4.3. You can go in Preferences and go to Add and type Sun Position and enable it. Now you can install the package you download. And activate the add-on. If you want, you can add this to have the color management in the panel of the add-on. But if you use Aces, don't enable this. Now you can close Blender and restart. Remove the default lamp. You can change the view. Now select the scene collection and add load pure sky. You have this result. Now you can directly go and preset for the sky. and select different presets. In this part you can control the sky and use different values for the sky and the surface. In this part, the sun, the moon, to move the moon. Select Enable Lamp, and now you can rotate directly with the moon lamp. And here you can add your HDRI to combine with the sky. In this panel, you can control the view distance of the camera. This is for the 3D view, and refresh here for the physical camera. In the cloud panel, you can use different presets and have this really nice and great result. The cloud can render in different mode. You can select here the right mode you need. Basic is a default diffuse color. You can use NPR. Fast is the light volumetric mode. Or you can use Accurate to have a more realistic cloud. When you enable Accurate, you can set this value to 0.5. And now you can add more noise on the edge of the cloud. And here you can enable and disable the cast shadow for the volumetric. Fast and accurate. In this part you can control the cloud color. Here is the resolution, the type. And here is the smooth. The smooth you can use when you use the NPR mode. In this part you can control the speed of the animation. The direction of the wind direction. Here is the cloud group the coverage, etc. Here is a shape in this panel to scatter.
you can distribute more cloud on the sky. In the next video, I will show you how to have a better understanding of this part of the panel. Now you can use exactly the same version of Pure Sky for even cycles. As you can see here, you have this result. Now if I switch to cycles, you have this button. Click Refresh, Update, and don't forget to enable your GPU. Add a low value in this. And now here start 20. Now in Cycles you have this. So you can switch EV or Cycles and have this. In EV, if you need a more realistic lighting, you can set this value to 0 0.1. It's more natural. But when you fix enter an indirect light 0 0.1, the volumetric cloud becomes dark. For me, I use this by default. Now you can start with this new version of Pure Sky and start creating great scenes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.